Yeah, we could do that. As a child, Dalton's favorite activity was playing army men, um, playing with dinosaurs. He would walk around and actually act out quite a bit a dinosaur. And we did a lot of going outside, playing outside, playing at the park. Uh, we did a lot of movies, just the typical things that, you know, young kids do. When I was younger, the most common sport I played was baseball. And then I got into swim on swim team. And I did that up until my sophomore year of high school. And then I had to quit out. When I was younger, I found out during my course and swim team, I was a lot clumsier doing things. I was a lot slower. I was very clumsy walking around. And me and my parents just always thought that was just based on an age thing. I would go into it. And then around in about 2007 was when I had a series of blood tests. And finally, on my last blood test, I was positive for free jacks tax deal. And at first, I really didn't know what to think about it. I was, I was young, and I really didn't know what it meant. I just thought, well, okay, I'm clumsier than the rest of my friends. So, I just have to deal with that. I don't need me to help you. Uh, I think I do. I have muscular dystrophy, which basically it affects the muscles and the nerves, prevents regrowth of muscle tissue. When Dalton was diagnosed, we weren't sure what it was other than it affecting his motor skills, what essentially would be his motor skills. You know, I think for me, it really made me, me stop and think about how it was gonna affect him, how his life was gonna change, and really again, once again, all the opportunities that he might miss out on in life because of it. Go ahead. Yeah, it's all like, it's like that community. Is this an Xbox exclusive? No. It's PS4. Oh, this is PS4? No, oh, it's, PS4's it's, it's yeah. bull. Yeah. And then my, he's dominated, so I can make him fight for me. Oh. Oh. After high school was really when I, I really had to grow up where it was, everyone was on their own, and I really kind of had to learn how to use the wheelchair, how I needed to do things on my own. A lot of things I want to do, I just couldn't do them, at least on my own. I really had to find other ways to do things or just accept I couldn't do that. For instance, when I had to give up driving, it wasn't really a thing that I wanted to do. I didn't want to give up that freedom I had. But it just came to the point where it just wasn't practical for me to do anymore. I actually, I did go through depression a bit. Just, I didn't know who I could turn to, how to express myself. And I was just really lost for a while. Didn't really know what to do. And just kind of, I had to really fake it till I make it to get by. The hardest part is just 
watching him struggle with everyday life, you know, everyday tasks that we don't think twice about. You know, wishing that you could do anything to have him be able to do it. You know, not caring if he excelled in sports or you know, just just wishing he could have, he could have a normal life, walking, driving, uh, everything. Having a child with a disability, you don't think about the obstacles that are in the way. Um, our house is an older house, and so even the hallways, the doorways, um, he can't he can't get in a lot of them. So um, we've had to create a ramp for him so that he can go in and out of the of the uh, house into the garage. And now we're in the process of actually gutting our whole bathroom and making it handicap accessible. Eventually, it'll turn into a roll-in shower if he should ever need it. Right now, we, it'll be enlarging the shower stall so he can roll up to it and putting in a shower seat so he can just transfer from his chair to the shower seat since he's unable to walk anymore. Uh, there'll be grab bars in there, um, a sink that he can roll up under to brush his teeth and, and comb his hair and whatnot. Um, I, the toilet in there with the grab bars so he can he's able to uh, take care of his business. <laughs> you just never know what life is going to bring you. You don't know. Dalton wasn't, he was born with it, this disease, but the, sim the symptoms did not present themselves until he was 13. So we never planned um, for this to happen. But in many ways, it's made us a lot closer as a family. And you have to always look for the positive in every situation that you're given. But Dalton is Dalton, and we're going to love him and embrace him and conquer the challenges as a family. And uh, we all pitch in okay. and help. Yeah, you can. I'd say I'm definitely proud of him because he does go through a lot. I know it takes like a strong person to go through what he does. And I just want to say that I love him. Why is he not so bad? Is it too kill happy in this game? What really took me out of the fact that I had my disease was the fact that I was able to play a video game or watch a movie or read a book. That was really, I could get in invested in the story and I wasn't who I am I wasn't Dalton Wiley that was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy I could be anyone I wanted to be I could be the person in the book in the movie in the video game I could be the hero I could be the villain I could be whoever I wanted to be you know it's my son I'll take him anyway, oh, man, anyway, healthy, or with his disease, he's my son, and he always will be.